Hello and welcome to this Coolux widget designer tutorial. In this episode, we will show you how to set up a simple multi-touch panel interface like this one. We will assume that you have started the widget designer pro and have checked that the IP configuration is correct. In order to do this, you will need either a Pandora's box player, manager or server to run in master mode. Obviously, you will also need a multi-touch device of some kind. The computer running the Witch Designer Pro has to be a Windows 7 computer due to the fact that XP doesn't offer the same kind of multi-touch support. Right-click to open the Widget Designer menu. Now choose Create. Select Panel and then Multi-Touch Panel. You will now be able to use the classic Widget Designer crosshair to choose a point on the screen where you want to place the panel. Now another right click to get back to the menu and now choose item properties to customize some of the settings for your multi-touch interface. The first important setting you should think about is the display mode. You can either choose between a 4x3, 16x9 or 16x10 output. Just select the one you want in the drop down menu. Now you can decide whether you want to have the setup in full screen or not and can also choose which layers you want to control. You can enter the server and layer ID via device and can now select that you want to use the alternation. In this example we will choose the first five layers. Using the X and Y position you can determine where the layers are supposed to begin. We will stick to the default setting in this case 50, 50. Scale allows you to control the size of the pictures used. We want layer 1 to act as a background, which is why we will set it to 100%. We will set layers 2 to 5 to 50% because we want them to be half size right from the beginning. We now have to decide what we want to actually do with these layers and go towards the end of this line. Now we check boxes for layer 2 to 5. Let's say we want to be able to change the layer size and want to be able to rotate the layers as well. Depending on the content, you can choose the layer size ratio 1 by 1, 4 by 3, 16 by 9, 16 by 10. In this scenario, we'll use 4 by 3. Since we want to be able to control the panel via the touchscreen, you still have to check the enable box in the middle row so that the data actually reaches the touchscreen. We now confirm our choices and can now move the blue layers to take up the intended position. Using the touch screen it is now possible to rotate and scale the layers according to our earlier settings. <laughs> 